Hi, I'm Bob. Welcome to the Stata course about summary statistics and regression analysis. Today, we will learn how to convert string variables to numeric variables. A string is any character that is not a number. String data are common. When we import data from other formats, we often encounter string variables. We will use this string and to string commands, which convert string variables to numeric variables and back. We will also talk about encode and decode commands today. We use a dataset called thestring1.dta from the Stata website. We use the web use command to load the dataset. Let's browse the data. All the variables appear to be numbers. However, these numbers are the number characters. When we summarize the variables, we find that they are actually string variables. So there's no information in the summary. We can also see that while we describe the dataset, we can use the dstring command to convert string variables to numeric variables. Suppose we want to convert the string variable lum to a numeric variable called lum2. We type this string followed by the string variable's name. After the comma, we use the option generate and put the new variable's name inside the parenthesis. Now we have created a new numeric variable. We can summarize it and find summary statistics. It is an integer, a type of numeric variable. We can replace the existing string variable with the new numeric variable using the replace option. For example, we type this string income, comma, replace. The string variable income would be removed and replaced by the new numeric variable with the same name. Another way to do the same conversion is to use the generate command with the real function. If we want to convert the string variable code to a numeric variable code2, we type generate code2 equals the real function and put the string variable into the parenthesis. We can summarize the numeric variable code2. If we want to reverse the process, that is, to convert numeric variables back to string variables, we can use the toString command. We can employ the generate option or the replace option. For instance, if we type toString income, comma, replace, we return income back to a string variable. The above commands are used to string variables with number characters. Next, let me show you the encode and decode commands, which are useful when the string variables contain long number characters. Let's open our course dataset 
bob.dta. We find that the variable health report is a string variable. It is coded in long number characters. Poor, fair, good, very good, and excellent. There are five categories of health. We can write in code, followed by the variable's name. After the comma, we use the generate option and write the new variable's name, health report 2, in the parentheses. We can now tabulate the new variable and see that it is a numeric variable with values from 1 to 5. The command decode reverses this process to return health report 2 back to a string variable. We type decode followed by the variable's name and the generate option. We put the new variable's name health report 3 in the parentheses. The resulting new string variable is the same as the original string variable health report. When should we use the distring and to string commands? And when should we use the encode and decode commands? If we deal with continuous numeric variables or string variables that look like continuous variables, we consider using the distring and to string commands. On the other hand, if we manipulate numeric variables that are categorical or string variables that look like categorical variables, we consider using the encode and decode commands. In other words, when we see string variables that contain number characters, we use the distring command and toString command to convert them. When we see string variables that contain non-number characters, we often use the encode and decode commands. Remember not to be confused with another stator command we have learned in the previous topic, the readCode command. The readCode command is only applied to numeric variables, and we use it to create categorical variables from existing continuous variables. Today, we discuss the distring and toString commands. They convert string variables that contain number characters to numeric variables and vice versa. We also have a look at the encode and decode commands. They convert string variables that contain long number characters to numeric categorical variables and vice versa. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you tomorrow on the next topic. Goodbye. Thank you for watching this video and subscribing to my YouTube channel. See you next time.